Hi, I'm Dr. Angelo Colavita. This collection of videos is a comprehensive guide to answer any questions that you may have after your treatment. How do I heal after my treatment? I have Carson here to help demonstrate post-treatment instructions. Some patients will receive a collar. This is used to take some of the pressure of the weight of the head off the neck and to help remind you not to turn and move your head too much. The proper use of this is to have the divot in the front and the tag on the left. We want it snug but not too tight. We will have you use the collar generally for about two days. We don't have you sleep with the collar. Some patients will have you use the collar at the computer for about a week after as a learning tool. If it aggravates you, feels like it's making you stiff, then don't use it. I don't want to exacerbate the condition. You may be sore after treatment like you worked out and the next day you're sore. That's because the muscles have been in a lot of spasm and now they're completely relaxed. If you are sore, we can have you use ice or heat. Um, at, for ice, I prefer that you use real ice, not a bag of peas or, uh, or a gel pack. For the ice, you're going to place it on the back of the neck and drape it into the shoulder area. You're going to do that for 20 minutes to a half an hour, one to three times a day. If you prefer moist heat and you don't like ice, you don't feel as though ice feels good for you, then you can use moist heat. You would use a moist heating pad. Uh, the moisture, the dampness, it will allow the heat to penetrate. A dry heating pad is worthless. It doesn't penetrate the skin. So what you're going to do with that heating pad then is, again, put it on the neck and in the upper back, and you'll use that for about 20 minutes, anywhere from one to three times a day. If after treatment you're sore or you still have some of the same pain that you had before, if you'd like to use over-the-counter medication as far as Advil or Tylenol, that's completely up to you. That's not going to interfere with our treatment at all. One of the best ways to facilitate the healing process is to make sure you're hydrated. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water. We like to see you drink anywhere at least five to six glasses of water a day. 